From the moment the word snow is mentioned in a weather forecast, Cherokee County students and parents immediately want to know, will schools be closed? The final decision is made by the superintendent of schools based on recommendations from staff who work closely with public safety agencies, city and county governments, and the county's emergency management agency. This coordination starts 48 to 72 hours ahead of anticipated bad weather, not just the night before. These are some of the factors considered when deciding school closure. As you know, weather forecasting is an inexact science. School district staff participate in conference calls with the National Weather Service as well as county-wide agency meetings to put together the best plan of response for our community. Sometimes the weather forecast is just not firm enough to make a decision the night prior, and staff must work throughout the night, delaying a decision until the very early morning. Cherokee County is one of the largest counties in Georgia, with elevations rising to more than 2,200 feet. Road conditions can be vastly different in various parts of the county, so it is not safe to assume that because roads are good in one neighborhood, all the roads throughout the county are safe. School buses transporting thousands of students as well as teen drivers at our high schools make safe road conditions a top priority. As CCSD staff check road conditions, they are also sharing information with public safety agencies who have vehicles on the roads responding to emergency calls. While extreme cold is rare in Georgia, it does occur. Dangerously cold temperatures are a serious threat to children waiting at bus stops or walking to school. Very low temperatures can also affect diesel engine school buses, which transport 70% of students. In addition, school buildings are not immune to the threat of frozen pipes or heating malfunctions, despite diligent efforts to keep all buildings in peak condition. Why don't we just close school each time the forecast looks risky? Their forecasts are often wrong. In Georgia, we get many predictions of snow that never produce a single snowflake. Closing school is taken seriously as it disrupts instructional time for students and teachers. In addition, some snow days have to be rescheduled later in the year, disrupting family plans for travel due to school calendar changes. Why don't we close school as soon as our neighbors do? A weather forecast may be more severe for some counties than for others. While staff do monitor the closure status of other school districts, as we have employees who live outside of Cherokee, it is not a factor in our own decision process. Why do we have to close school across the whole county? Why can't we have school in some parts of the county where the roads are not affected? Well, not all CCSD students attend the school closest to their home. Thousands of students utilize school choice options, which means they travel across multiple school boundaries. And some students with special needs travel to other schools for services each day. How will parents and students know if school is closed? CCSD always posts an announcement immediately on the school district website as soon as a decision has been made to close. If you don't see a closure or delay announcement, then the regular school schedule is in effect. CCSD also uses social media to reach as many people as possible, as well as mass email notifications and text messages. Check with your child's school to participate in these notifications. Note, please be aware that there are also Cherokee County school districts in neighboring states. Be sure you are watching the right one. Hopefully this answers your questions about the school closure process. The safety of our students is always our top priority, so we ask your patience as we work to make the best decision possible.